Welcome back team and this is your super combo workout today. Full body strings plus strong pilates finisher at the very end. Let's begin with a quick effective warm up first as always and I will give you a heads up what to expect from this workout challenge. We will begin with the torso rotation with a gentle pivot on the feet. We have 50 reps. So join me guys when you're ready and I start my count right now. We go for 50 repetitions and we have three warm-up exercises today. I will give you a heads up every 10. 10 through for sure. So as you can see, guys, I'm using two different samples of dumbbells today and I'm using a medicine ball for just a couple of the exercises. So if you don't have your medicine ball, you're free to use the dumbbell. All right, we have 30 left. All the way, guys. Keep on pivot, pick up the pace with me. Don't swing those arms. So we have a three different separate quick blocks today. Sorry, these for you guys. And the first block is your add-on workout challenge. Give me 10 more, guys. All the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Your next warm-up exercise is your air squat. Arms to the front, every single squat begin. We have 50 repetitions. This will definitely Jumpstart our body, give you hats up every time. Nice and quick, guys. Up to 90 degrees. Excellent. And we are 10 through already. Keep on working. So the second block after we will finish, our add-on challenge is going to be your unilateral block. And we have only three exercises in this block. It's one is through, guys, if you follow in me. Those unilateral exercises, I created a really special way today. We're going to be working one side on the lower body and another side on your upper body. That will isolate and then we're going to switch right and left. And we have a good finisher before Pilates 7. Just have one round for each exercise. I'm going to be using dumbbells and the body weight exercises. All right, give me 20 more squats. I can definitely feel the heart rate is up all the way, guys. Wait away from the heels. Good job. Last 10, my friends. This is good. Breathe, guys. Five to go. Three, two, one. And your exercise number three to warm up today is your speed skater. Begin, guys. We have 50 total. This is it. So 25 on each side. Hover or top the floor. Put a little bit lower. 40 left. This is it. Carry on, guys. Carry on. Don't pull forward too much. Sorry to finish. Here we go, my friends. Wider. We need to wake up our body as always so we can have safe and effective workout. I know you know this, but the form, our number one priority, we have only 20 finish. <sighs> Wider, guys. All the way, all the way, all the way. Pick it up and give me final 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, quickly, seven, eight, and couple more. Excellent. We definitely need a sip of water. So drink your water and we prepare for our first add-on block. We have four exercises. Add this block. We're gonna do one, two, then add exercise number three, then we add exercise number four. We take in every single time from the top. All right, take a look quickly. Add the demo on your screen. I'm gonna take my lighter set, which is a 10 pounds for the first exercises. The rest of this I will do with a 15, but the first one requires 10 or lighter, guys. So take a look again at your screen on your demo. This is your squat with a front raise simultaneously. And you're gonna do that chest press at the 90 degrees. Palms gonna look down. Give me good squat, no back bend, super strong arms, pick the weight your shoulders can support. Only 10 reps, my friends. This is it. 
nice and honest with all the commitment you can give to this 10 pounds it's a challenging weight for this exercise watch your back everybody you can't back bend you have to scoop the stomach in we have five more repetitions this is your strength training we're doing less reps than we're doing a hit or a cardio strength and we're using heavier weights two more guys one more this is it put your dumbbells back 10 pounds was a very good weight for this exercise so we're gonna rock the 10 pounds take a look guys quickly at your demo for exercise number two guys this is your burpee clean press i'm gonna be using 15 pounds for this exercise that's going to be challenging for a clean press pick the weight your body can support 10 reps my friends plant your dumbbells strategically you can do it with the round corners no you your dumbbells must be with the square corners for your burpee round would be very dangerous dangerous clean press all the way up clean get slightly under press guys this is it one more we're gonna be halfway through underneath this is it when you do your press from your clean make sure your back is engaged your abs totally engaged you stay in tall don't drop those dumbbells guys back I need to see full control you have to always take the weight when you can stay in control we have two more repetitions this is good perfect last one and we will take these two exercises from the very top from the very top so and then we're gonna add exercise number three remember this is your add-on all right for my beginners just want to remind you give you a little motivation i'm gonna grab my lighter weight body just like a car you haven't worked out for a long time it takes a lot of effort to move it from the no speed place that place right but once you keep going keep moving it will accelerate with progression once the car going one mile per hour it's easier to achieve two and three miles all right squat front press prepare i have my 10 pounds let's crush this one squat away from your knees if you have to do your one arm at a time or you can do 90 degrees just press at all you do your high pull when you back to standing halfway through guys five repetitions left let's muscle up push it three more really hard two more guys one more everybody lift rise push press very hard with the 10 pounds all right drink your water the size number two was your burpee clean press 15 pounds i'm going back to 15 pounds here we go this workout is gonna fly by quickly challenging yes effective absolutely worth the effort for sure 
Will you feel amazing afterwards? I promise you that. We keep working, guys. You don't have to hop. You can step into that plank instead. Underneath. Five through. Come on up. All right. Let's muscle up, my friends. We have three more burpees to clean press and then we will be ready for exercise number three of this add-on block oh, one more guys muscle up this is it perfect dumbbells back take a quick sip of water take a look at your demo on your screen guys for exercise number three of this add-on block. This is your, we will alternate the legs. Reverse lunge to your dead lift to your squat with bicep curl. I'm gonna go for 15 pounds this round and check this out for the next add-on. I might do the 10 instead. All right, five on each side, lunges, 10 total, let's go. Give me a good lunge, that lift. Up, sit and tight, prepare for squat. Other side, deadlift. Don't drop your shoulders on your deadlift. This is it. That lift. Don't drop the shoulders, bicep. Very nice. Squat bicep curl, guys. This is good, squat bicep. 15 pounds challenging on the squat and bicep. That lift feels really good. We have only four repetitions. Total. Bicep, guys. Squat away from the knees, of course. Lunge away front knee, above the front ankle. This is it. One more on each side. That lift and that squat. Almost forgot. Let's go. That lift first and split bicep. The weight making a huge difference for this one. So whatever weight you use, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below. Not right now. After the workout. All right. One more round, guys, in this add on block. We'll begin from the top, and then at the end, we're gonna have exercise number four. Your squat, front raise, chest press. Wide stand, guys, almost like a Zuma squat. Shoulders up, back and down, up, sit and tight, weight into the heels. Let's crush this one. This is good. All the way, guys, stop. Push it. Keep on working. This is good. Halfway through, guys. Muscle up team. This is the last time when we're doing this exercise in this block. Three more, half in, squat. Let's go. One more. Press, back, 
this is was incredibly challenging even with the 10 pounds i can't believe how much challenge i had to do that chest press a couple of few reps all right guys drink your water burpee burpee and clean press starting to get excited okay let's go do it we have only 10 reps i'm using my 10 pounds get under clean it's like a little hop underneath your weight all the way 15 fails amazing challenging yes but that's exactly how you want to pick up your weight you want to make sure you can finish it you can also downgrade to lighter ones in the last few reps start strong all right number five we have five to go as i said for the beginners a little motivation right body just like a machine if you don't work it out properly don't fit it well for many years or ever you can expect get strong and see the changes right away but you will see it and you will see a progression once you jump start the process and like it's everything in life the same way it applies the hardest step with the first step the hardest step when we still don't see a full outcome and we just know what we want but it's not clear once you do the first step second step third step you start to see the map more clearly and you can pinpoint achievements and results and more you follow through more you complete the more energy and motivation you're going to have along the way so my beginners you will get stronger drink your water and we're going to move to exercise number three all right your reverse lunges remember we did this your reverse lunge with the dudley first bicep squat begin guys front knee behind the front ankle good now for everybody else and for everyone else including my beginners we all human beings i wanted to touch base this matter a long time ago actually maybe we already talked about it so for everyone we all human beings guys and sometimes we get sick hopefully not because we're lazy but sometimes we get sick we can't work out sometimes we have other really important responsibilities job families children some other thing taking care of someone else we can't fully commit but even then i must say your house is your number one priority your well-being your good mood you can't really be a good parent or a good employee or business owner you're discontent if you don't have the energy you can take a good care of your kids and your spouse if you don't have an energy if you constantly tired so i must say work out it should be your priority but if for whatever reason we have two more we couldn't do it we couldn't do it for a week let's say we got sick just don't contemplate guys act like nothing happened just hop back on a train that's the way to do it the longer you contemplating and putting that away and thinking how hard and challenging it's going to be or how much could you achieve the longer you separate from the progress just don't contemplate if you couldn't do it for a few days even for a week even for a month hopefully that's not the case just hop back in the train with the same route like nothing happened pick up where you left exercise number four 
last one in this add-on block. We're going to move to the next one, unilateral after this. I'm going to be using a pound medicine ball, guys. You can use the dumbbell. This is your rep squat with push press. We have only 10 reps. I want to see that ball or dumbbell right above the floor, 90 degrees, just like, did yet, just like you did the chest press. All right. As low as you can. Begin. One, two, push, three. Excellent, guys. If you're not doing plyo hops, I know you can do just a regular squat without hopping just step wider. Four, just in case. Three, two, one more, guys. Beautiful. All right. We put the medicine ball. We're good for now. Congratulations. Block number one is complete. Block number two. Three unilateral, unilateral exercises. Remember, I said we're going to be working lower body on one side, upper body on the other side. Demanding, going to fly really fast. I'm going to grab my 10 pounds, guys. Take a look at your first exercise. It's going to be your squat top. So if your right leg is doing the squat, your left is going to top. So your right leg is working, your left arm is working, and that's what we're going to do for three exercises from now. Prepare, guys, and begin your work. We have 10 on each side. One, two, three. There is no work on the left leg, just a slight hop. Your left arm is working really hard. This is good. Squat into the glute on the right. We've got this. Perfect. One more, guys. We've got this. Let's do one more just in case. I think we did nine and ten. One more is better than one less. Your right leg was working, right? We're going to continue to do the single leg deadlift slash tiny bit squat working your glute and quad in your back with a single arm row on the left so your left arm continue to work prepare stay come back up top this is it we've got this Watch your shoulders, guys. Watch your shoulders. Very sweaty. Keep on working. We have only five left. Deadlift, guys. Up, in. Shoulders lifted. We don't slouch and round our back. If you can't lift your leg, that's fine. You will keep holding your left toes on the floor behind. This is good. Two more just in case. One more, guys. Awesome. All right, final exercise for this block is your just for your upper body. If you want to challenge yourself, you're going to come with me into your squatted position, which is optional. This is your 90 degree bicep curl. Go to the half plie squat, arm up, we work in. We have only 10 to finish. Five to go. It's so hard with a 10 pounds to do this. Isometric hold, 90 degrees. Last one. Good. We're gonna go exactly the same flow for the other side. So now when your left leg is working, your right upper body, right side is gonna be working as well. So your right foot top, your right arm going to the front raise. Squat into the left foot. Wait, away from the knees, guys. 
All right, everyone, we're back to being strong. Whether you're working out with me in the morning at 5.30 a.m. when the video is live or you're working out later, at the day, it doesn't matter. It's always important to remember. It's important to start your day with a positive thoughts, positive affirmations, and I mean it because it works. If you haven't done this before, give it a try for a few weeks. And it's important to get active. It's important to feed yourself a good nurturing food. It doesn't have to be much, but you have to jump as a day with a quality energy, with a fuel for the body. Again, just like a car, but it's not gonna run or not clean fuel really well or really long. Last one. All right, good job. All right, deadlift, the same leg, left leg. Row on a right, guys, on a right. Get ready. You can tap your leg all the time. We got this. Ups in. Good. Down. We have only five to finish. Come on, guys. All right, two more. Watch your forms. One more. Your half a squat is optional for exercise number three. You can stay nice and tall as long as you keep your arm 90 degrees above the floor. This is good. Stay with me, guys. We have five to go if you're following my rhythm. Brittle. One more, everyone. Sudden quietness. That was challenging. All right. I will go ahead and put my 10 pounds. I won't need them anymore for our finisher block. Quick one. Mixed body weight and dumbbells exercises. You can use your 10 pounds or you can use back to the heavier one for your first exercise. Your first exercise on the finisher block. We have only 10 reps. This is your power high pull. We're gonna go to the half squats rest. Toes wide. High pull with the tippy toes if you can. Shoulders up, back and down. On the position, prepare. Two. Don't throw the dumbbells down. Three. Four. Five, shoulders away from the ears. Six, seven. Give me a couple more. Nice and tall. Last one. This is what's your final exercise with the dumbbells. All right, guys. Your next exercise, we have two more in this finisher block, is your body weight. Take a look on your demo screen. 10 push-ups, alternating with the shoulder stops. Do it, guys, on your kneeling position. If you have to, totally fine. Begin. Four through. Six through, guys. Four more to finish. Here we go. If you feel that you can get up with a good form, I need you to put your knees on the floor. One more, guys. Got you. All right, your final exercise in this finisher block is the body weight dolphin hands together, your knee to your elbow or to your shoulder. Let's finish strong. This is your obliques and lower back fat finisher as well as a lower abs, get ready. 
set. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your dual same plan, guys. We hold for eight, seven, six, don't no three, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, team. Congratulations. Your strength part of this workout is officially complete. You can definitely, after you drink your water, take your shoes off and meet me on the floor. I'm gonna keep my sneakers on today, so we begin right away. Your Pilates finisher, guys. Your Pilates finisher is very strong today. We're gonna go on our back, and we will begin quickly with your roll-ups. My beginners, if you have to keep your knees bent, you can definitely do that. We also have upward plank today, which is pretty challenging. Prepare, guys. In a three, two, on exhalation. We're using our all Pilates principles all the way reach up. Breathe, guys. Back down. Reach. Excellent. Come on back, reach up. Awesome. We are not on a timer. We're working for the repetitions. So I want to see a great form, guys. All the way, reach up. Good job. Give me two more. And one more. Up and open this time. Right outside. You got this. Back. Right outside. And back. Our Pilates finisher today is focused on your midsection, your abs, your obliques, and the lower back fat as well. We do some arms, not too much. We did a good amount in our strength portion. And give me three more. Two more, all the way right through the center. One more, guys. Reach up and sit. Bend your knees, guys. If you're not going to be doing upward plank and do the reverse tabletop, if you come in for upward plank with me, we definitely make sure that our wrist very close to be underneath your shoulders. Hold your plank, and we're going to do a lock pull front. Here we go. If you are in reverse tabletop, just lift your legs from that tabletop. Breathe, guys. Good job. Reach. Reach. Good. We have two more. Don't drop the hips. One more. Excellent work. Come on down. And we stay in seated just like our single leg stretch. We're going to do it in a sweet spot today. So you're going to go down, my friends, until you feel a good amount of resistance and tension in your abdomen, guys. The lower you go, the harder it, of course, but it will have different levels. So make sure you don't feel your forehead or your neck. One, two, a lot of balance, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do a couple more if you started a little bit late and finish it strong. Double leg stretch. If you can do a double leg stretch, you're going to go for me on the floor and do our regular run, 45 degrees above the ground on the bottom position. Begin, guys. All the way out. And breathe. And out. And breathe. And out, guys. And freeze, excellent. Outside. And together. Outside. And together. Outside. Together. Outside. Finish strong. Two more. 
outside together and outside together we're gonna go back on our supine position and we are ready for the roll over come back to the sit up back extension spinal extension beginners you can drive your legs towards the ceiling instead instead the full rollover that's what i mean come on up and good spinal extension good perfect reach spinal extension guys all the way reach back come on up very nice we have only four to finish stretch your belly goes on your quadricep and your chest goes on your knees guys not vice versa this is it and come on up let's do one more just in case all the way reach back and come on up perfect all right we all gonna go and make a transfer to our kneeling position we're going to take our hands slightly forward and lean to the neutral line are we ready for that rise of the shop i told you we're going to do some arms we have an arm complex today for arms and shoulders sexy lean beautiful arms who doesn't like that and let's go ahead and begin with eight tricep one guys on the knees you can sustain a good form two three four five six seven all together guys all together eight excellent go ahead and take your fingertips inward find your plane guys we're gonna go rock forward and back just like a body so but our fingertips inside one guys back two back three all the way four great job five don't quit six seven one more eight back knees on the floor we're gonna go guys for the push-ups wide position fingertips out this is a very challenging variation you can begin eight on your knees on on your feet and then <clears throat> go with me on your knees this is building your shoulders like crazy making a good beautiful sexy shape here we go good upper arms lean upper arms defined upper arms require a lot of different exercises body weight exercise is really good for that here here we go four guys three abs in on the knees if you have to two chest nice and low one knees on the floor we have final exercise in this ab in this arms complex and then we're going to move back to our abs and obliques fingertips you can't take them all the way back not a big deal do it halfway through if you come with me stay with me knees or feet we have eight seven six five four three two and one i'm gonna take you on your side position for the straight leg crunch and then we're gonna do obliques and then we do the same thing on the other side begin guys one i want you to drive straight leg at least on the 90 degrees above the floor i know the body is tired stay with me we have four to finish together four three two and one hold it guys hold it with me for four for three active stomach two 
and down nicely. We have our oblique complex. What I want you to do is to put your hat completely on the floor, on your arm, and rest, so you don't work any of the shoulders. All the work will come from the obliques. Glue your two feet together. Here we go. One, two, three, guys. Obliques. Four, five, six, seven. Hold them high. And split. 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 Four, three, two, and one. Top. Use the upper leg, guys. One, two. So we also work in our side. Here, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, all the way. Go ahead and come up. Right here, we have a final, our hip lifts on your elbow. Prepare, guys, your modifications would be your knees. If you have to, I promise you can do it. No work in the shoulders. Hips up, one two, three, four, five, six, only two, seven, one more, eight, gorgeous. Go ahead and turn around. We're gonna go for the straight leg crunch right up here. And then we're gonna go for our complex four obliques. 90 degrees, hip back the floor, begin. One, two, right up front. Three, four, five, six. Just in case, let's do a couple more. If you started a little bit later, hold it, guys, with me. Seven, six, five, four, stay. Stay, stay on the floor. We begin with the lateral lift. Rest your head. If you can't maintain balance on the side, move your leg slightly forward, like a little curve, and begin. One, two, three. Obliques, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Split, guys. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top leg only. Begin. One, two, three, four. Four left. Five, six. Stay with me. And the final, your hip dips on your forearms challenging yes effective absolutely we're going to crush this one together here we go one two three four five six couple more seven and eight that was challenging but together, we can do a lot more than by ourselves. Go ahead and put your feet into the mermaid position. It doesn't have to be too far away from the base. Take your one hand on the side. Give yourself a good stretch, guys. Just a few seconds. Four. And three. And two. All the way back up slowly. And all we're going to do, we will fold forward, down towards the front leg. Draw straight in the back, relax your neck. Go to hip flexor stretch. And then we switch position of the flex. The farther your feet away from the base of the body, a little bit more challenging. And outside, other side, big straight right above your head. And slowly return back. We folding forward. All we're doing is just folding forward with the level as much as possible. Shoulders. Great stretch on the right hip flexor. 
This is it. Come on back. And start to make your way, guys. Back up. Come on up. Wide breath, wide breath. That was a good sweaty workout. I feel really refreshed now. Reach, guys, all the way up. Inhalation. Exhalation, nice and low. One more time. Leave all the tension behind. Final exhalation, fantastic. How it's standing, guys. I want you to give yourself an applause because you deserve it. If you're new to our workouts, new to the channel, and you enjoyed it, make sure, guys, to subscribe, hit the bell button so you never miss your daily workout so I can watch after you, help me to share the videos, give the gift of health to others. It's always easier to finish strong as a team, rest well, recover well, and I will see you all tomorrow.